Hey there and welcome to another Thought Leadership. And this week I was talking about the Gordian Knot. It's a story associated with Alexander the Great. And it's often used as a metaphor for an intractable problem, such as untying an impossibly tangled knot. Finding a different approach to that problem that renders that perceived constraint as irrelevant. Now, how often in work do we face something which seems to be like an impossible problem to navigate? There's politics involved, there's technical issues, there's people issues, there's a whole bunch of stuff that makes it impossible. And yet, if we approach it a whole different way, could it actually be quite simple? And that's what the Gordian Knot is actually about. So here's the story in short. The Pharagians were without a king, but an oracle at Telemissus, which is the ancient capital of Lycia, decreed that the next man to enter the city driven on an ox cart would become their king. That happened to be a peasant farmer named Gordius, who drove into the town on an ox car and was immediately declared king. So out of gratitude, his son, Midas, de dedicated that ox car to the Phrygian god of Zabazios, who the Greeks identify with Zeus. Now he tied that cart to a post with a very intricate knot made of kernel bark. And that knot was later described by the Roman historian Quintus Curtus Rufus as comprising several knots, all so tightly entangled that it was impossible to see how they were fastened. This ox cart stood in the palace of the former kings of Phrygia at Gordium up until the 4th century BC when Alexander the Great arrived. Now, an oracle had declared that any man who could unravel this elaborate knot was destined to become the ruler of all of Asia. Now you can imagine Alexander the Great, who was desperate to rule Asia, was also desperate therefore to untie this knot, but struggled to do so. It was impossible. But then he reasoned, it makes no difference how the knot was loosened. So he drew his sword and sliced it in half with a single stroke. Now, as we know, Alexander then went on to conquer all of Asia as far as the Indus and the Oxus and fulfilled that pro prophecy. Today, we might call that out-of-the-box thinking, not limited to the rules of the problem, but thinking and challenging the very rules themselves. And there's a danger in the way that we work today to look at perhaps our business and do we determine how that should be based on the rules of today? Or do we challenge the rules themselves? Do we challenge the way we've always done things, our ways of working in our business, to look at it from a new perspective and how things should be and could be? And could that actually be quite simpler? Thank you for joining me. This is the Change Maker Podcast, where we talk all things change management and transformation. My name is Sasha Jovanovic, and in each episode, we'll feature a single big idea from emerging practice and global thought leadership so that you have something useful to take away for work today.